Hey guys, welcome to Absolute Value, Practice Problems, Level Medium. All right, let's do it. So let's take a look here. We have two equations, two different variables. X minus two, absolute value of that equals five. And this one, Y at plus nine, absolute value of that equals 15. So it says, in the expression above, x is less than zero and y is less than zero. So we know that both of these uh, variables are gonna have negative values. So then it says, what is the value of x minus y? So now we gotta figure out based on these equations what the difference is of x and y. So first of all, there's two things to note. Again, whenever you have absolute value equation, you're gonna get two values for each variable. But this is already telling you that we can limit those numbers by noting that x and y are both negative. And let me show you what I mean. So first of all, we're gonna solve x minus two absolute value equals five. And we're gonna split this into two equations. So first we have x minus two equals five, right? Where we just remove the absolute value. And then we have x minus two equals negative five, where we make whatever outside, make whatever uh, number you have outside of the absolute value, you, you flip the sign. So we simply solve this by adding two to both sides, and we get x equals seven. And on this side, we get, uh, we're adding two to both sides as well, and we get x equals negative three, because that's simply negative five plus two. Now, what do we say at the beginning? X has to be negative. So the only value that works here is negative three. So now we got our, our x value. Now let's figure out y. So same type of thing, we are going, so we're a little short on space here, let me do it like this. So y plus nine equals 15, absolute value of that. So we're gonna split it into two equations as well. So we'll do it right up here. So we have first y plus nine equals 15, and then we have y plus nine equals negative 15. So same process. We're gonna isolate y, isolate by minus nine. Y equals 15 minus nine is six. And then we do the same thing here, subtract nine from both sides. And y equals 15 minus, negative 15 minus nine is negative 24. So again, y equals six, that's not a negative number. So it has to be y equals negative 24. Now remember, what did the original question ask us? It wants to know what x minus y is, right? So now we have the values, we have negative three minus negative 24. So this become a minus minus becomes a plus. So negative three plus 24, that gives us 21. So 21 is our final answer, E and done.